Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things cryptid-related, unknown paranormal. I'm your host, Parker. And guys, today, I am very excited to say it's the first Sunday in October, which means, guys, I'm bringing back ghost stories. If you don't remember that series, I did this series last year around this time for Halloween, essentially, where I talk about, like, different ghost sightings, different ghosts throughout history, and haunted locations, which we are actually going to be talking about a haunted location today. And this one is very, very popular. And I'm very, very excited to be showing it off. Where is it? Here we go. And this is it. This is a huge picture. Let me shrink it. We're going to be talking about none other... Well, I mean, you can read the sign, but... We're going to be talking about none other than Riverdale Road, guys. And this, this is actually a very, very very creepy road found in Thornton, Colorado. So Riverdale Road, it's a haunted 11-mile um, stretch of road found in Thornton, Colorado, and it has so much activity on it, including a lady in white, a ghost jogger, and spirits who take the form of animals, bloody handprints that appear on street signs made by ghosts of a boy who was hit by a car and killed while on his way to school, and some say that was even a Native American burial ground. And some of the animals that the spirits take forms of are coyotes, which are good spirits, and a gray fox, which are said to be evil spirits. Um, and the Wolfert Mansion also burned down on this road, and it's now condemned. So there's a lot of activity going around on this road right here. And also, it has gates to hell on it. It has... They're pretty much just, like, rusty iron gates, but there's a huge story behind them. Uh, the man who built them, he lost his mind when he built them, and when he finished, he burned. He was the owner of the Walpert Mansion, by the way. He burned his entire mansion down with his family asleep inside, and um, he evaded arrest, never was captured, never put on trial. And some say that there was a lady in white. That lady in white that I mentioned earlier was actually his wife. That, um haunts the road and there's also and being like a long road there like i said there's also a bunch of like accidents that happen on there it's it's normal things happen um and most of them happen to joggers um sometimes there is a jogger that chases you down the road you can hear his heartbeat you can hear his footsteps chasing you running down running down the streets and it's a very very kind of eerie experience Ghosts also swing from the trees, which is very creepy. Um, it's a so from what I have the source right here, I will put the source in the description below, guys. America has a long and dark history of abusing slaves while it was legal to own them, and there's plenty of creepy locations to go check out. If you're touring southern locations, Colorado, though, has its own history that isn't typically talked about when discussing American history. Slaves lived here too, especially along Riverdale Road. And on some nights it says you can see their bodies um, hanging from the cottonwood trees if there is a full moon out. So that is very scary. That part I was unaware. I'm glad I did my research a little bit before filming this because that I did not know. And that is very creepy. Um, then also talks about the bloody handprints that appear on the signs, which I mentioned. Um, there's also a phantom Camaro that patrols the roads. Um... If a driver is in a rush, those blind corners can result in death. One of the driver, one one driver in the 70s was zipping down the road, impatiently testing fate with their gas pedal when they had a fatal crash. Now, if you drive down the street during the night or day, a Phantom Camaro with one working headlight might pull up behind you, um, challenging you to a race with no happy ending. There's also phantom hitchhikers on that road, so um, they get in and then get into their destination. They disappear. And Riverdale Road, there's just so much haunted locations here. And just the whole road's haunted. It's very crazy, very creepy. I had, I've had some friends visit it before, and they said it was a very eerie experience. I would like to check it out myself someday, but that is Riverdale Road. So if you guys like this video, be sure to that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. 
Um, comment below, guys, what you guys think of this video. Um, if you guys are liking my channel so far or this series, let me know. And if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Become a member of the Crypto Crew today. It means the absolute world to me. The community keeps growing, and I love it. We're like a big family here. Check out all the links and descriptions, including the source that I use for this video. And... Yes, Discords are in the description as well. Join my Discords, Paranormal and Cryptid One. And yeah, tomorrow I will be seeing you guys for a Demon Days video. We'll be talking about President Glacia Labala. So looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are too. Hit that bell notification if you are so you don't miss notifications from this channel. But with that being said, guys, you've been watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Uh, stay spooky. This is very scary. And I will see you guys in the next Ghost Stories. Bye, guys.